mean reversion strategies versus trend following strategies what are they and which one is better in this video i will explain each strategy and how it works and what are their signature characteristics and stay till the end where i will show you which one is better for us traders so let's start Hello everyone, my name is Ali Casey and welcome to Stadioasis channel where we discuss investing, finance, algorithmic trading, growing our wealth, our portfolio and everything else in between. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the 5 to 6 videos that I post during the week. Also, it would be amazing if you can smash the like button, share the video with others as this will help me push out the message of investing out to the world. While there are many ways to make money in the market, the most popular, the most prominent is trend trading and mean reversion trading. So let's start by defining what do they mean. So trend trading from its name, it means trading with the trend. That means if the trend is up, then you're, you want to go long. And if the trend down, then you want to go short. Mean reversion on the other hand is a counter trend trading. So when the direction is going up, you want to go short. And when the direction is going down, you want to go long. So let's see how that looks on a chart. So if the price is going up like this, then you want to buy the breakouts. So for example, this is a breakout level. This is a breakout level. This is a breakout level. And this is a breakout level. So you are buying at these position hoping that the trend will continue so in trend trading you are never actually buying the bottom and selling the top you're actually most of the time capturing something in between and in mean reversion you are doing the opposite you are selling at peaks and buying at bottoms these peaks and bottoms is not actually uh, exact they are actually a measure from a reference point so for example this is the s p 500 uh, this is the futures the e-mini futures on the s p 500 and let's say we are trend following so basically what that means is you can see that this is the high point so we are buying the breakout somewhere around here and then this is another high so we are buying this breakout and then here we can see another high so we are buying this breakout while with mean reversing, we are selling actually a percentage away from a reference point. So for example, I just plotted here the Bollinger Bands at three standard deviation. So we can see our reference point now is this 20 period moving average. So whenever I am three standard deviations away from the this moving average which is dynamic it's not fixed it's not like i'm ref referencing this price i'm referencing the moving average so whenever i am too far away which is in this case three standard deviation then i will go counter trend so for example this happened here and this almost happened here and then it happened here and then almost happened here and again here and here and let's see probably also happened here so you can see i'm shorting here i'm going long here shorting here going long here even though the price is going up i have shorting opportunities and going long opportunities because i expect the price once it, it stretches too much beyond its mean which in this case it's the 20 day moving average then I expect it to go back to that price. Okay, so now we understand how each strategy behaves. They're actually opposite to each other, assuming you're using the same time frame. But each strategy actually have totally different characteristics and we can list them. So trend following strategies are designed to hold longer and capture larger gains. So they will have many small losses and extremely large fat tails so basically out of 100 trades they probably have 70 losses and 25 uh, so so or break even trades and five really uh, big gains and hence the winning percentage is actually very low usually between 20 to 40 percent 
Also, most likely you will have large drawdowns because you're capturing a large wind. So you expect to give a big space or a wiggle room and that will give you a larger drawdown. Profit target usually it's not good for trend following because you don't want to limit the upside ceiling. You just want to stick with the trend as long as it's going. It has very few transactions and hence minimal slippage in commission. And because it has few trades, then you need to trade many markets in order to get into many trends. And because of that, then you need a large trading account to trade those many markets. And because of the fat tails, usually you have very big return to risk ratio. Now, mere reversion strategies, on the other hand, they have many trades and they usually have a 60 to 80% win rate because they have too many small uh, gains and usually very few large losses. And therefore, they have actually a small and therefore they have small return to risk ratio. So they are designed to capture small gains, hold shorter periods. Profit target usually works well with mean reverse strategies because we don't want to stay uh, opposite the trend too long. We just want to capture whatever that fast move against the trend is and then get the hell out. <laughs> and from the two signatures of the strategies, we can tell that mean reversion is actually a lot easier to follow because psychologically you have more wins. Uh, probably we didn't know this, but actually both strategies can use the same indicator. So let's pick, for example, RSI, which I use it many times on this channel to build mere reversion strategies. So short term RSI can be used for mere reversion, but long term RSI actually can be used for trend following. Also, both strategies can be implemented on different time frames. So you can implement both mere reversion and trend following on longer time frame and shorter time frame. So, for example, you can build it on daily and on hourly and on weekly. Now, because of the unique characteristics of each strategy style, they actually complement each other very well inside a portfolio. So really a portfolio of trend following and mere reversion, assuming you're doing the same time frame, they actually very well complement each other to give you a smoother equity curve. So blending the two in a portfolio is a really good idea. Now, there are some caveats. So not every market behaves the same for both strategies. Actually, some markets are uh, have an edge in trend following. Some markets have an edge in mean reversion. Of course, if you are a viewer of this channel, then you know that the S&P 500, actually most equity indexes have an edge in mean reversion. And usually they don't have an edge in trend following. That doesn't mean that you cannot build both strategies on every market. It just means it's harder to build, let's say, trend following strategies on the S&P 500 index. Also, the time frame chosen could be an issue. So you can see this is the ES daily time frame and this is the 15 minute time frame. And this is actually one day and this is another day and this is the third day. So we can see last two days we are actually up but I could have actually did a mirror version. So here I could have gone short, here I could have gone short, and also here somewhere I could have gone short. The, while I was holding long, let's say in trend following, let's say I took this breakout, I still had three shorting opportunities and five long opportunities on the smaller time frame. And of course, depending on the time frame, you're not capturing the same amount of gains while still the, let's say the winning percentage is still the same, but the margins that you're capturing are actually different. So we come to the real question. Which one is better for us traders? Long term, short term, trend following, or mere reversion? And the answer is actually all the above. <laughs> you probably figured it out because really the portfolio is what makes you money long term, not a single strategy. It's never a single strategy that makes you money long term. It's actually a portfolio. So a portfolio of mere reversion, trend following, long term, short term, all that been built inside one portfolio, that's what makes you money. And it's not necessarily built on many, many instruments. It could be the same instrument. As usual, if you have any questions, I will be happy to answer them. You can comment below or join the conversation on the Discord server through the Patreon link down below. As always, good luck with your trading, good luck with your investing, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.